While wild evacuation efforts are continuing in Antigua and Barbuda, several New York-based nationals of the country are attempting to send aid back to their home country. Dion Batiste tells us more. Even as citizens struggle to come to terms with the devastation left in the wake of Hurricane Irma, Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda, Gaston Brown, ordered a mandatory evacuation of Barbuda in preparation for Hurricane Jose, which was expected to pass through the island. Sources say 45 babies and an unspecified number of adults were on board the first vessel which left Barbuda to be transported to the mainland after 8 on Thursday night. In a conversation with CNews, Miriam Henry, an Antigua national who resides in the U.S., said Antiguans in New York are working together to send much-needed items to those affected by Irma. Antiguans right now here in New York City are collecting items to send down to Antigua for the Barbudan victims. And it's an each one reach one kind of thing right now. It's, it, it's amazing. All hands on deck, no hesitation, and, being in, and beaming with pride. We are our brother's keeper. And uh, this weekend, I'm going to be sending some stuff over. Miss Henry said it pained her to consider the total decimation of what once was a beautiful, unspoiled, naturally rich island. Barbuda is that sister isle that has so much natural resources, so much untouched land. Like it was, it's a walking ecosystem. You know, the lagoon has been breached. Um, if you look at aerial photos or satellite pictures of the lagoon, even when you're in a plane, and anytime I go home and I spot it, the lagoon is so precise. But after the hurricane hit, that look that the um, armor breached that entire section where part of the land, part of the lagoon is now one with the ocean. She says the safety of her countrymen takes precedence, but she believes that if they work together, her native Antigua and Barbuda will be restored to its former glory. Dion Batiste, CNews.